This is the Royal Sovereign RSL 2701U 27 inch tabletop thermal laminator. This laminator utilizes hot roll technology which is suitable for laminating virtually all types of paper output including full color inkjet. For best performance the RSL 2701 must be plugged into a dedicated 15 amp 110 volt circuit. The off on switch is located on the rear of the machine on the right hand side. When you first turn the unit on, all the LEDs will flash and then it will default to speed 5 and the lowest temperature setting. You should adjust the speed and temperature according to the laminating film that you're using. Most products will be laminated in the lower two heat settings and typically in speeds 2 to 3. When you first turn the unit on, the LED will flash green on the temperature setting while it's warming up. Once the laminator has reached temperature, it will go to a solid green. You can select your speed by utilizing the up or down buttons. Select your temperature by pushing one of the three temperature settings. To run the laminator in reverse, we must push the reverse button and hold it. The laminator will only run in reverse while the button is being held down. To run the laminator, we hit the run stop button once. To stop the laminator, we hit the run stop button again. There are two safety switches on the 2701. One located underneath the plastic guard and the other located underneath the feed table. If either of these switches are activated, the laminator stops running immediately and will not run again until those switches have been reactivated. If the 2701 is inactive for 60 minutes, it will automatically go into standby mode. This will drop the temperature down to 176 degrees and hold it there. If there's no activity for a further hour, the laminator will actually power itself right off. Or change rolls of film, the film shafts slide to the right and easily lift out of the machine. To remove the bottom film, lift off the feed table and again slide out the shaft. Take the film shaft slide it into the core of the roll of film, push the core adapter firmly into place, then put the other core adapter on the other end and push into place. Make certain that the film is oriented so that it comes off the bottom of the roll towards the front of the laminator. Place the top roll of film into the machine, center the film, and tighten the thumb screws. Make certain that the film is coming off the bottom of the roll towards the front of the laminator. In place, again making certain that the film is coming off the bottom of the roll towards the laminator rollers. Set to the bottom roll and line it up even with the top roll and again lock it into place by tightening the thumb screws. Top film first, bringing it over top of the idle bar and down over top of the front rollers. Lift up the shield for easy access and drape the film down over the front two rollers so that it crosses over the center of the two rollers which we call the nip point. Then web the bottom film. There is a slide away idle bar on the bottom which makes it easy to bring the film behind that. 
cutting out some film and now lift up the slide away idle bar to put the film into proper place. And now drape the bottom roll of film over top of the top roll of film so that they are both now overlapping the nip point. Lower the safety cover, replace the feed table. We will now use what's called a leaderboard to get the film through the laminator. There is a leaderboard that comes with the laminator, but you can also use any rigid type paper as a leaderboard. We'll now force the leaderboard into the nip of the rollers and while pushing in, push the run stop button. The laminator will now pull the leaderboard through with the film Run the laminator until the leaderboard completely exits the rear of the machine. Push the stop run button again to stop the laminator and use the built-in cutter to remove the leaderboard. The cutter is spring-loaded and should be started somewhere into the lamination as opposed to coming in from the very edge. It cuts in both ends to cut and remove. If your lamination is curling when it comes out the back of the laminator, this is the result of roll feed tension being out of balance. If the lamination is curling up, you have excess tension on the top roll feed loosened by counterclockwise turning the tension knob on the top and perhaps put some more tension on the bottom. You want to make these adjustments until your lamination is coming out flat. If your lamination is coming out curling down, it's because there is more tension on the bottom roll feed than there is on the top roll feed. These are easily adjusted until your lamination is coming out flat.